at the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a wall here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folding like a lawn chair. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Pick up of 33 yards. A gain of 33 yards on the play. And the Bears first down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Fields. And that is incomplete. Nice call by the defense. Down, down, just throw the field. The next two defensive backs in the down package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit. And as they say, fire away from long distance. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg, but how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing, and bang that one through. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Play fake. Cousins. This goes out wide from Madison. Run! And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 area. Tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run it again with Cook. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. 72 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Cousins. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he will have the Vikings first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Cousins now to throw on first down. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Davion Taylor buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Joseph's got it. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. When you talk about clutch, that one was right down Broadway. Right this game's all even here in the fourth stretch 17 17 the score all even to this point as it kicks away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 the bears offense ready to go for their next drive and we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. The second down play not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. 
That's complete to Mooney. And a more challenge here back at the 47. And a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes the catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. Snap it to Fields. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. No question that one stings a little extra because he had that first down. It would have been a fourth down conversion. Love the effort. Love the maneuverability. I don't like the fact that he didn't bring the ball with it. And now it's going to go in the other direction. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Now Cousins lets it fly for Thielen. And got his man complete. A big play there, Cousins to Thielen. 59 yards. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. They'll run with Cook. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Now what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you, you want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. It's Cousins on the sneak. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. Joseph connects on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. On the return is Jones from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense right now they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble so you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now yeah and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive is it that means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message Get your security paramount let's take care of them if we do we get a chance to on this well, the tickets to the final play to officially decide to win. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, they would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle. Well, that can be stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe.